Hi guys and welcome to 2024's first Chili House walkthrough. Let's go on and see what's going on, go through everything we have for this year and what's coming up. So guys as you can see it's the new greenhouse. Went bigger, a lot more space, a lot more going on. I'm just going to turn off this fan because we'll not hear anything with it. It's just circulating the air for us. Now, so, doing things a wee bit different this year, we've obviously ramped things up. Um, I'm going to go through a few things that's going on, some good things, some not so good things. As you can see so far, we've got some great growth. So, let's start with the problems. Had some problems with green flight, and treated the plants at the wrong time of the day, and burnt a lot of the leaves. As you can see here, a lot of stuff's fallen off, but the plant will recover. That's a jalapeno, not looking very happy in itself in comparison to their piles over here. Um, if you're wondering what the flowers are, these are marigolds. They're accompanying plants, so they're very good for attracting hoverflies, bees, ladybirds. Um, just to help with any pests or insects that you don't want. Um, another plant that was badly affected by the aphids is here. This is let's see, number 20. That is a ring of fire chili, and it is very unhappy at the moment, but I think it will come back, so we'll see how it gets on. So I'm um, doing some different levels of chilies this year. These ring of fire, they tend to be somewhere in the scale of 200,000 scoville units. They're not crazy hot. I also have the KS Lingaras, which is here. That's a cross of a Thai chili, and it's supposed to be very nice as well, really nice with food. So growing a few of them. Um, now my jalapeno plants, as you can see, look very unhappy. These guys, unfortunately, got a bad dose of sun scald when I was potting up earlier in the season. And in fact, it's every single one of them. If you can see down here, these are all jalapenos as well. And some doing better than others, but they are recovering. Um, another one of them is over here as well, are the jalapenos, so it's pretty sorry looking for itself but there is new growth coming through so it will it will recover it's just going to take some time um in the super hots i've got a good few varieties uh, i'm not going to go through them all today this is just a quick update as you can see they're all really thriving some strawberries down there in the corner as well um i have some seven pot primos i have cc jigsaw brains i have red primatale chocolate primatale which Anyone in the chili world will tell you it is the hottest pepper on the planet. A uh, real killer, can't wait to taste one of them. Um, what else have we got going on there? We also have Naga Vipers. Really hot chilies as well. So that's kind of where we are guys. It's just a wee quick update. Some more ring of fires down there. Um, again, not looking too happy after getting treated for aphids. But we will get there. So as I say, things are... A lot more professional this year than I guess we were last year. We're even monitoring temps, so it's only 21 degrees in here today, which isn't great. Um, weather's been pretty crappy, a lot of rain. Not the, what you're expecting for June. Um, I'm growing some tomatoes in here this year as well. Growing a lot more outside, but these are the tomatoes. So these are Belmonte tomatoes. I don't know if you can see that in there. These are sort of like ones you would put in a burger. They're massive, as you see one's a couple coming through there. Pretty early in the year yet, but we'll see how we get on. So, that's the story. So guys, that's just a quick update of what's going on. Um, as I say, we'll do some more in-depth videos as the weeks go on. But uh, that's just a quick catch-up. Thanks again for watching. Remember, like and subscribe and tell your friends. Good luck.